well, as we canvassed on the show just last week, mm -hmm. everyone knows the story of Moby Dick, the great white whale. According to the Australian Bureau of Statistics, 99.978% of all people born before 1970 know that story. <laughs> but the very few know the real life story that it was based on when a whaling ship was attacked and sunk by a sperm whale back in 1820. It's a story our own Chris Hemsworth is bringing to life this week in In the Heart of the Sea. Our seafaring movie man, Jason Jabba Davis, joins us now from the port of Los Angeles. And is there even a port? Ahoy, ahoy Jabba. Anyway, I would ahoy. like to see you in a nautical stripe. But anyway, uh, this is a different style of film for Chris Hemsworth. Does the sea change suit him? That's a good question, Eddie. Good morning to you. Good morning, Andrew. <laughs> this is a film that's copped some uh, pretty harsh reviews, but for me, anything that stars any actor that Australia can call our own, in this <laughs> case Chris Hemsworth, a.k.a. Thor, deserves a look. It's from director Ron Howard, who, of course, has given us some incredible films previously, Apollo 13, um, just one of those great films. And in this one, Chris Hemsworth stars as first mate Owen Chase on board the Essex, a uh, whaling ship that sets out from Nantucket, Massachusetts, it's in 1820 yep. in search of uh, whales to make uh, oil from. Things go pear-shaped. Um, let's see if our Chris can handle a harpoon as well as he handles a hammer as Thor. Never seen a whale do that. It's a line. Take the wheel. It's a ramsel. You were the other end of the line to the foremast. I sir. As I live and breathe, he's mine. He's mine! You tell him, Chris. Uh, the first half of the film is absolutely chock full of blockbuster action as they battle the whale. Once the whale wins, spoiler alert, the guys <laughs> are adrift on the Pacific Ocean, and this is, for me, where the film really kicked in. Uh, really enjoyed the second half of this film. You know, the first half's great, but to see them uh, in a very intense uh, lifeboat situation where they have to resort to some pretty drastic measures to stay alive, this is another side to Chris Hemsworth that maybe we didn't Looks see amazing. in Thor or even Home and yeah. Away. And is it true that the studio nicks the original name for the film, The Sperm Whale of Nantucket? Uh, I believe that they weren't so keen on that title due to the rhyming uh, options of Nantucket. Oh, is that why? Okay. Working, working mm. title. Okay. So, all right, exactly. So the... four, four stars for In the Heart of the Sea, title. not to be confused with By the Sea, Brad mm -hmm. Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Something else that actually references a white whale, uh, it's a Christmas film that's out this year and it's called uh, The Night Before. Starts, <laughs> stars Seth Rogen taking a bunch of uh, magic mushrooms. Let's take a look at what happens when they try to hijack Santa's sleep. You guys know this can't possibly work. Of course it'll work. Let's get that grin. Let's find my phone. It's a little bit patchy, this one, but it's the dumbest fun you'll have this season. Three stars for the night before. Uh, and just a quick treat for families. Snoopy, the Peanuts movie, is out uh, in January, but today only 50 sites across Australia are running uh, an exclusive preview screening with all proceeds going to charity. Tickets just $10. Um, details at Event Cinema's uh, website. So do check that out. Beautiful, beautiful film. Oh, well, that looks cute, Jeff. The one in the middle it? looks truly atrocious, to be honest. I mean, I think three <laughs> stars looks very season. generous. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We have to wait to see in Snoopy whether Charlie Brown sees the little girl with the red here. Mm -hmm. That's the big mystery. Yeah, that middle one, good grief. That's yeah. all I can say. Good grief. <laughs> thank, thank you, mate. Don't go anywhere. Weekend guys. Sunrise is back in a moment.